On this episode of The Shipping Notes, short videos on maritime news and history, Maersk is toppled as the world's largest container line. Hi, I'm your host, Alma Cagliano. So in early 2022, announcement was made that Maersk Lines, that for decades had been the leading container carrier in the world, has been eclipsed as the premier carrier by Mediterranean Shipping Company. And that news made me think, how many of us know exactly how important the large container liners are? Our last shipping notes covered the nine major shipping companies in the container alliances, three big alliances. So I thought today I'd graphically demonstrate to you the power of these nine companies and why it's significant that Maersk is no longer the leading company in the world. So containerization started way back in 1956 when the SS Ideal X, a converted tanker, was used by Malcolm McLean, who developed this concept of containerization. He loaded SS Ideal X, an empty tanker, in Newark, New Jersey, and sailed it to Houston, Texas, with 58 33-foot containers on board. Today, there are 6,319 container ships in the world, capable of carrying just over 25 million TEUs, 20-foot equivalent units. Now, those 25 million containers that can be carried at sea, the vast majority of them are concentrated in the three big alliances. So let's take a look at the power of those three big alliances. This chart from the Geography of Transport Systems demonstrates the growth of the world's container ships. Initially starting out as the earliest model container ships, ships like SS Ideal X and its followers initially adopted conversion vessels being fitted with cell guides. Eventually vessels morphed into their next level, limited only by the size of the Panama Canal. Then post Panamax vessels were built, vessels too large to exceed the Panama Canal. When the new lane of the Panama Canal opened in 20, 2016, a new category, Neo Panamax, entered the world's lexicon. Today, we're dealing with vessels like VLCSs, very large container vessels, ultra large container vessels, all the way up to the mega ships, ships capable of carrying over 24,000 TEU. And that's what we see on the world's oceans today. Ships like Motor Vessel Everlot, capable of carrying 24,004 containers all the way down to the smallest vessels capable of carrying just one TEU. The largest of the three alliances are those two companies I just mentioned, the 2M Alliance made up of Maersk and the Mediterranean Shipping Company. 25 million TEUs out there. So let's demonstrate graphically the power of these large alliances. Once again, we go to our old friend, Big Lego Blocks. Each of these blocks, will represent 1 million containers. Now, Maersk and MSC each can carry almost a little over 4 million containers. Let's get that right there. There we go. 4 million. Maersk. It's raining shipping. And they got a little bit of extra in there. The next big alliance is the Ocean Alliance. The Ocean Alliance is made up of three companies, CMA, CGM, a French company, Costco, which is the China state shipping line, and then Evergreen, which is from Taiwan. They can carry about seven and a half million containers. Use red for these guys. They can carry about seven and a half million containers. And you'll see, not as big, about a million less than 2M, but the Ocean Alliance represents a substantial portion of the fleet. Put them over here. The third alliance is the Alliance. It's made up of four companies. ONE, which is a composite of three Japanese lines. Yang Min, which is a Taiwanese line. HMM, which is a Korean line. And Hapag Lloyd. Those four companies can carry about four and a half million containers. 
So right here, bring them all together here for you. Pretty substantial right here, as you can see. When we look at the fleet that's out there, 25 and a half or so million containers afloat. Those 25 million containers are divided among nine companies that carry 20 and a half million containers. We have the 2M Alliance, Maersk and MSC. We have the Ocean Alliance, carry seven and a half million. CMCGM, Costco and Evergreen. We have the Alliance, four and a half million containers carried by HopHog, HMM, Yangmin and O&E. That means the rest of the world's containers, the rest of the world's containers, the remaining four and a half million containers are carried by every other container liner in the world, largely small regional feeder liners. They carry it somewhere in the range of 20 to 30 container liners out there. They carry four and a half million. The rest of the world's container fleet, not in the three big alliances, basically the size of the alliance is carried by these. And of all these, of the top 30 companies in the world out there carrying containers, there's only one American container liner out there. And they're right here within this group. Matson, which operates between the U.S. West Coast, Hawaii, Alaska, and Guam, is a Jones Act protected container liner. They have to be American owned, American built, American flagged, and American crewed. They carry a minuscule percent out of this four and a half million containers. This is what they carry. This small block is what they carry. A little bit. So of this entire 25 and a half million containers that are out there in the world, Matson carries this. And this represents the power of the ocean alliances out there. This small little block of four and a half million containers out of 25 and a half million containers is the only element that's not in those regional alliances and conferences that moves our world's goods. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe, hit the bell so you be alerted about new videos when it comes out. Be sure to leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, share it across social media until our next episode of The Shipping Notes. Sal, signing off.